Hey friends, today I am back in Walt Disney World. I've been gone away for the past 10 days, up in Pennsylvania visiting family and other theme parks like Hershey Park and Knoebels, but now I have finally made it back home and something major has happened while I was gone. I don't need to wear a mask outside anymore. Anywho's, let's go do this. I think I'm gonna make my way up to Fantasyland and we're gonna start off there. But I wanted to stop and just appreciate how beautiful the castle is now that it's all fully filled in. I think the last time I was here, this was a construction site. Now the ducks are having a grand old time. Look at them down there, happy as can be. I can't even begin to tell you how much I'm loving this right now. I feel so amazing just to be able to walk around like this and not feel like the heat and the, the, the swampiness because I feel like that's a good definition when you have the mask on. Swampy face. Swampy face. <laughs> I wanted to check out Seven Doors Mine Train. It looks like it's sitting at about a 50 minute wait. I noticed that people that are waiting in line outside is actually not wearing their mask. But as soon as they get to this point, they're being told that they need to put their mask up. So I think as long as you're in a queue, you need to wear a mask. So even though you're outside of the queue, you still should be wearing it. So that's what I'm gonna do. The line moved super quick and you do need to wear your mask even if you're on the outside so mine just stays on the whole entire time i'm actually used to wearing the mask so even though we have to wear it in the queues and whenever we come in close contact with cast members i'm perfectly fine with that oh yeah that's the way row number one i'm excited oh boy what a way to start off the day <laughs> We got our back and made it from there. Oh, look at that beautiful view. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, now we got it. Yep, lean. <laughs> Perfect. I'm trying to rock it as much as I can, you know? Yoda Lodi. <laughs> oh, but there she is. That is frightening, isn't it? She even agreed with me. That was awesome. I love it when you get stopped in some spots and you just get that extra couple seconds to appreciate your surroundings. And it happened twice on that ride. Once right at the top of the hill, and then also when we came down, we got to sit there and spend some time with the actual witch. And she was frightening. She is the scariest thing probably in Walt Disney World. And Snow White's scary adventures that used to be, that was 10 times scarier. I loved it. 
Now I want to adventure down into Adventureland. While I was up in Pennsylvania, I visited Dutch Wonderland and I had a Dole Whip from there. And I was like, well, this is a pretty good Dole Whip, but it's not a Disney Dole Whip. So I wanted to come out today and specifically get a Dole Whip so I can see the differences since it's still fresh in my mind. I don't know why I need to give you a backstory of why I need to get a Dole Whip. I mean, there should be no excuse to have to get a Dole Whip. You could just get a Dole Whip because it's a Dole Whip. The wait times aren't that bad actually for mid-May. 40 minutes for Peter Pan's flight. It was 50 for Seven Doors Mine Train, but I only waited about 40, I would say. And that's not bad. I mean, June is gonna be her next month. Ooh, it's a small world, there's only a 20 minute wait. See, these aren't bad wait times at all. I'm still having a great sensation walking around without my mask on. Every time I pull up the camera and I go to start a video, I'm like, oh, but then I'm like, yes, yes, this is great. I am so happy to be back here just to be able to walk around. I mean, that's like the biggest thing. I'm not even in a hurry to run into any rides or anything like that. I kind of just like walking around and letting the wind hit my face. Like, <sighs> One thing that I'm actually curious about though, is since now you don't need to wear your mask outside, do you think that's gonna make people wanna not go to the Country Bear Jamboree and Carousel Progress as much? Or even before, I know a lot of people were definitely going and sitting down at restaurants more often because they wanted to take a break and take their mask off. So do you think dining reservations will be more easier to get now? A lot of things change because of this. My window time to get my Dole Whip is in 10 minutes and I can tell you I can taste it now. I'm so excited. This is gonna be delicious right now It's a perfect temperature for a dull whip and I'm ready. I'm ready 10 minutes can't go by quicker Oh boy, we gotta find ourselves a spot to eat this. It's melting pretty quickly Gotta find a seat gotta find a seat. Maybe we'll sit right here where the snakes used to be. No, it's too hot there too hot too hot there Oh, no Look at this, we are in trouble here, but I found a garbage can. I mean, that's better than nothing. I got some napkins, it's, it's, it's causing a mess here, but we're gonna clean up. This is a delicate situation here, and we got the wind blowing on us. I don't know what to do. Ah, there we go, that's the way. <laughs> it's so good though, it really is. Okay, we gotta get a little bit off the top and then... Mm. I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. That's all you had to do. A bimity bam So delicious. Much, much better than the dough whip that I got at Dutch Wonderland. Bonnie, you have to try it. I can't believe I panicked like that. All I had to do was just take a big sip out of the juice. Well, I guess the next time I learn. I had to run to the restroom to get like paper towels because napkins were not cutting it. But there we go. Nice and clean. And a little goldfish for good purposes. Now I think I'm gonna head on over into Frontierland and maybe check on the wait times for Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain. I haven't rode Splash Mountain in a while, so I might do that. I usually don't like to ride that ride because I get soaking wet and then it's a big soggy bottom kind of day and it's just not the life for me. But, you know, it's kind of a nice day today, so we might do it. We might do it. I like to check the people out as they actually go down the plummet there to see if they got wet. Hello, friends. Not too wet? No? Oh, okay. See? They say it's okay, I believe them. One thing I've noticed though at Universal Studios, the water rides over there, you don't need to wear a mask. So like if you go on Jurassic Park, which is kind of like Splash Mountain, uh, they actually tell you you can take your mask off. I don't know why, like, you know what I mean? Maybe because the, the mask get wet then? So I mean, huh. Take a look at that ridiculously long line though for Splash Mountain. 45 minutes. I don't think it's 45 minutes if it's lining up here. Like that is, that is a long, long wait. But we're going for it. I mean, I'm in it, in it to win it. Take a look at the wait though, holy moly. The AC in the queue line for Splash Mountain is probably the best AC in all of Magic Kingdom. If you get lucky enough and get stopped right underneath the vent, you're in heaven. I'm feeling it right now, I don't want to move, but I gotta keep up with the line, but... Oh lordy, that's good. That's the good stuff. Oh 
road looks like we got row number one. Right now, in the queue line, they tell you that they can't accommodate any requests. And this is one you don't want to sit in the front. In fact, I don't like sitting in the back either. I like to be in the middle. Remain seated at all times. Keep your hands and arms inside. <laughs> Ooh. Into the briar patch. Ooh, they shut off the water there. Usually you get hit with a nice little splash right here, but not today. Oh. Slip and falls coming up. As most of you guys know, Splash Mountain is about to be rethemed Princess and the Frog. And I just have one request I hope that happens. I hope that this part right here when you drop to the laughing place is actually where it turns into friends on the other side. Are you ready? Can you imagine like dropping down? Well, I've got friends on the other side. <laughs> Ooh boy! I got a little bit wet. Mostly my hat and the camera. The camera did get wet and I was like, uh oh. But also while I was riding in the dark, I noticed I had a bad pixel in the camera. So I think I have to get a new camera. Did you guys notice I, I, I would be on the right hand side. You can see like a little glowing light. Uh oh. Almost had to get a, definitely a new camera there. But anyways, let me know in the comments if you notice that dead pixel in the corner there. That was so much fun. And I think I'm gonna dry off pretty quickly. I mean, I didn't get that wet. I mean, my hat got wet. I mean, that's a, I'm bald. 
I'm happy we got in line when we did because now it is a 70 minute wait. It was actually probably around a 50 minute wait while we were waiting in line. So it was definitely longer when we got in line. But now that is definitely the wait time because the line is going all the way over the bridge. Now I think I'm gonna head back on over to Main Street USA and maybe stop into Starbucks and get a coffee. I could use a coffee to give me a little pick me up, you know? As I make my way over to Main Street, I do wanna say, hey Keaton, it was nice to meet you buddy. And uh, thanks for watching the videos. So I hope you're watching this one. And uh, yeah, it was awesome to meet you. See ya. I was standing here staring at the castle for a little bit and I realized this fountain's not on. So I never really get to see it kind of just like that. And then I got noticing Goofy here. And I don't know, I, I think I'm just paying attention a little bit more today than I normally am. <laughs> doesn't look like there's a bad line for Starbucks, but it makes me wonder, you know, a lot of people prefer Joffrey's over Starbucks. If they had a closer location for Joffrey's other than over in Tomorrowland, do you think people would stop and get Joffrey's? Like somewhere else around here. I don't know where the closest one is other than like the quick services, but you know how Joffrey's has that one special spot, like stand there? I wonder if they had one closer to Main Street, people would go there too. Honestly, I like them both just as good, so I probably would go to the one that has the least amount of people waiting in line. Because I'm going inside, I have to put my mask on, but I've been putting my mask on anytime I come close to a cast member anyway. I feel like that's a very respectable thing to do. They're still wearing theirs, so if you know you have a photo pass or even to pick up your food from quick service, you have to put your mask on. And just any general time you're around them, I just think it's nice to wear your mask. Looks like they've got something new on the menu. A strawberry funnel cake frappuccino. Now that sounds kind of delicious, but I think I just need my regular coffee. But if you've had that strawberry funnel cake before, let me know what it tastes like. I got my coffee and I also decided to get a water and I didn't realize they were gonna give me this gigantic big cup. Thank you so much, good sir. And now I'm happy. <laughs> I just had the biggest epiphany. So earlier I was running to get to somewhere so I can eat my Dole Whip because I forgot that you no longer have to be stationary when you're eating or drinking. Like that just hit me because I was like, I wish I could walk around and drink my coffee. And then I realized, I said, holy moly, I could do that. I came over here and sat down. I was like, wow, I wish I could just like walk around, but I could do that now. This is craziness, wow. <laughs> We take for granted the littlest things, but this is something I missed so much. Just having a coffee and walking around and taking sips as you just kind of people watch. You know. That's the good stuff. <laughs> it's also good to point out that the relaxation stations are still open. Not sure why, but at least you can relax. I often wonder if they're gonna keep the relaxation stations open. You know what I mean? Like there's not much need for them. It's nice to have a designated area to sit down though because sometimes it's hard to find a spot to sit down. Like usually the like, tables or trash cans are taken up so you end up just running around. So, I mean, that, but they don't need like an attendant for that. They could just have the seats there. Huh. Things are really starting to look up here at Disney World. No mask outside, the people move were running, and I even hear tell of two monsters from North Carolina who are trying to work on some laughing floor that might come back soon. But it'll never work. Looks like Buzz Lightyear is out too, so I think I'm gonna go over and say hi to Buzz real quick, and then maybe we'll go ride the people mover or the Astro Orbiter. Yes. Hello, Hello Buzz. Question, Astro Orbiter or people mover? Astro Orbiter, that's the way. Thank you. <laughs> I always ask Buzz where I should go next, and he always leads me in the right direction, so Astro Orbiter it is. Here they come, both elevators. Now let's see how many they load up in there. Like I said, they used to just like load up one group at a time. I think they might be doing more than one group at a time. It, it makes sense at that point. Oh wait, oh, looks like they might be only doing one group still. Oh, definitely, they're doing one group at a time, so I'm gonna have my own elevator. And that's why it actually makes it a little bit longer. Maybe just people are not interested in riding it like they were before because the people mover was closed. But regardless, it is a short line. I got the whole 
whole elevator to myself and take a look at the certificate of operation astral orbiter 1225 monorail monorail my speech impediment came out there monorail way <laughs> isn't that so funny when I was younger, I had a real bad speech impediment. So all of my W's and R's got messed up and I would be like, what's your favorite color? And I would say red or white that way. Kind of like uh, Elmer Fudd. Did he speak with him? Yeah, he always said that, rabbit. <laughs> but here we are. Time to get aboard the Astro Orbiter. Look at it, it's such a beautiful day for this as well. We gotta grab ourselves a rocket. Not this one. Maybe this one, but definitely not that one. I think this is the one. <laughs> Safe flight. Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. And please, supervise younger pilots. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado con el cinturón de seguridad ajustado y mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del cohete. Cuide a los pequeños pilotos. Gracias. And three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> We're going up! All the way up! Nothing can stop us! <laughs> oh! Gotta pull it up, pull it up! There she is! Oh wow, look at these views! Oh, there's the castle! I like how some of the rockets aren't working, so that one down there is just kind of like hanging down low. We're going all the way around. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> I always feel dramatic whenever I'm spinning around in high places. <laughs> you can see a lot of backstage actually here. Look at all the backstage you can see right there. Oh, we're going down. now beginning its descent. Oh, this is the rough, rough part right here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Easy, easy. There you go. Ooh. Safe landing. That was a lot of fun. Now we're making our way back down. I love going up there. You get such amazing views and just having the rush. And I even like the way the uh, voiceover actually is. I don't know who narrates the Astro Orbiter, but it has such a familiar voice. If you guys know, let me know because I just, maybe I just need to Google it. Gonna head right back over here to the hub, get a good look at Cinderella Castle before we call it a night. And with that, I think we're gonna call it a night here, or just call it a day because it's still daytime. But I have things I need to do tonight. Hey, how are ya? Yeah, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like my little PA trip. It's nice to be back in Disney World. I love it here. This is my home and this is uh, my happy place. Like, you know how people like say happy place? I feel like that is such a cliche thing to say, but it's 100% the truth. I just get so happy being back here. Like, I really, really do. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, I came here just in time for the last song. Supercalifragilistic gets me out of doses. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, if you say it loud enough, you'll always have precocious. Supercalifragilistic gets me out of doses. Supercalifragilistic gets me out of doses. I am.